Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2. We're back on our Carla today and I'm super excited to be able to show you the new updates for the Enviro 400 MMC by Studio Polygon. And now this version is currently still in beta, it's version 1.2 and there are still a couple of things wrong with it so if we do find any unexpected bugs en route today uh, then I'm sure that they will be fixed before they're made available to the public. Uh, now this version we're using is a Scania uh, the N250UD, I think. I'm not too familiar with my Scanias, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But I thought, what a perfect, uh, what a perfect bus to take for a spin on the Arcala Route 64. Uh, we're ticking off two uh, boxes here today. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, Pendle Station. Sorry, well, uh, there we go. That's going all the way at 11:31. Oh, it's due out just now. Right. Okay. There we go. Sorry, you can't see that while I'm uh, while I'm faffing about with this. Uh, but yeah, the Scania looks absolutely fantastic. Noted for having a much larger overhang at the back between the wheel and the back of the bus there. Uh, the model itself, before we get run over by that Enviro 400 there, uh, has been completely rebuilt from the ground up. Uh, we've got a new cab to look at. I mean, isn't that pretty? Isn't that so much nicer than the other version? I did, uh, in the video I did the last version of the old bus. I think I made a note on how it was all one block colour. There didn't seem to be many shadows, uh, but this is just improved so much in uh, in the latest version. Uh, so yeah, we did drive. Oh, we've got the cameras on this model. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, I don't like that at all. I mean, the cameras itself are, you know, they're, they're done very well. Uh, it's just the idea of having cameras rather than wing mirrors. Oh, dear me, scary. Scary stuff, scary stuff. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Let's get it fired up. And straight away you'll notice we've got a load of new sounds there. Let's pop the lights on all the way through. We've got, uh, oh, we've got screens. That's brilliant. Hang on, what's happening here? What are all these adverts? I love that. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. Although I don't know why that's not my YouTube there, I'll have to have words. Duh, oh, advertising other people's YouTube on on, uh, on my YouTube. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be having words with our first Enviro, giving him a thick ear. Flipping heck. Right, okay, so uh, we're ready to go. Uh, now, hang on, driver ID 207854. And, uh, yeah, that's lovely. 9810. I do love the screen, so even though, you know, even though it's not my YouTube, I mean, that's by the by. But the actual screens inside, they're fantastic. I don't know if they were in the old version. They're probably a set, though. We've got no window. Of course you don't. You're on a Scania. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably a set, though. They're probably not available on every version. But, uh, yeah, by the by, absolutely love it. Right, to business. Oh, of course, it's a Scania, so it has the, uh, the notorious Scania... Uh, indicator there and it sounds rough as anything which is brilliant because most Scanias do you've got that nice meaty uh, growl of the Scania engine this is going to be an absolutely fantastic journey it really is right I mean the whole thing is just so much nicer to drive I'm really really impressed and we've only gone 100 yards uh, right 64 to Pendle Let's get them doors open. This is where nobody buys a ticket. Have I got ticket selling turned on? Oh, I have. Right, there we go. 250. And uh, I must note there's two pound coins there. Because last time I was giving two pound coins out, thinking they were one pound coins, and everyone was moaning. See, they're honest on OMSI, aren't they? If you give them too much change, they stand there and yell at you. Uh, in true German fashion, whereas on Bus Sim uh, 21, if you give them too much change, they just take it and walk off. Terrible, terrible. Right, there we go. Where's my five note? Behind the post it note. 550, thank you very much. Yeah, 50p, 450 change, sir. Thank you. And it's quite nice, actually. There's no bus that was parked on the stand, so I was actually able to, uh, to get in. Now, let's see. Does the Scania have the same feature... No, it doesn't. Right, so, uh, one feature that I will show in tomorrow's video, because we're going to do the ADL tomorrow. Uh, on the ADL version of this, you actually have to have your foot on the foot brake uh, once you've shut the doors to take the handbrake off. 
it's a it's a very strange feature and to be honest I reported it as a bug I was like oh there's something terribly wrong with the bus uh, but no apparently that is a feature uh, of the Enviro 400 MMC uh, which has just been put in uh, now I can't stand it uh, but if it's a feature then obviously it's good uh, but we will show that tomorrow the Scania doesn't appear to have that feature which is brilliant this might just be my new favourite bus to drive the, the sounds are just fantastic. This is what gets me about this. The, the sounds. Oh, they're brilliant. Those engine sounds are so crisp. They're so smooth. I, oh. Oh, I love it. Oh, hang on. I'm still not quite used to the old braking on this thing yet. Oh, wrong one. Day rider. There we go. One pound. Uh, so, yeah, we are doing the Route 64, the full run through to Pendle today. Uh, yeah, nine pound. Thanks, love. Ta. Two pound fifty. Thank you very much. Oh, flipping heck! How much change? If I gave you that much, you'd be complaining. Oh, there we go. One, two, twenty, forty, fifty. But too many coins. Well, it was okay for your friend to give me them. Hell, those dogs go with some uh, some force. You wouldn't want to be trapped in them. Right, off we go. Flipping neck, listen to that. And you know what? Compared to the ADL variant, when you put your foot down, this gets a shift on. It really does. I've never actually been on a Scania MMC. I, I think I need to try it, to be honest with you. Listen to that. Way straight off. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, now, if you are already... Oh, hang on. Slow down for the roundabout, Joe. Come on. Talk and concentrate at the same time. Talk and concentrate. Uh, yeah, if you are already an owner of the MMC pack, there's a link in the description on where you can get that. This should just download as a free update to you, so there's nothing extra to pay. Uh, I thoroughly recommend... I think it's £13.50 off the top of my head. If you haven't already got this pack, I thoroughly recommend it. It really is a good pack. Um, I never used to drive it, uh, the older version, really, because uh, I always had trouble with frame rates, and that's why you've not really seen me driving the MMC on a lot of routes. I've driven it on quite a few. Oh my god, hell. Sounds like butter's falling to bits. Uh, I always struggled with frame rates on this bus, um, particularly when you were looking at things like Add on London. I, I did always really struggle with the MMC, but this does seem to be a lot better. Uh, I will level with you. I did get better frame rates uh, in the ADL version, but that could just be because uh, the Scania has more features. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, the, the ADL version does seem to perform a bit better than the Scania. Flipping it, coppers. You're joking. Yeah, get away. Right, hang on. What are, what are we having? Single. Five, seven, fifty. Uh, but then again, I'm not sure if that's because I'm just right in the centre of uh, town with our car, like this area. You see, we get a little little bit of a stutter there. Uh, this version, you know, I, the, where we are in our car, uh, fully did say that this, you were expected to get worse frame rates around here. Uh, yeah, it might just be something that will be fixed before the, uh, before the actual version comes out. But we will be taking a, uh, a look at the ADL version tomorrow to see how it compares. Oh, I forgot that's an invisible bump there. There we go, look. Way! Those rattle sounds are absolutely brilliant, aren't they? Oh my god! I don't know why I keep looking left and right, it's just instinct, isn't it? Because uh, I've got my cameras in front of me, I technically don't have to look left or right. Single ticket there, uh, thank you very much, love. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Five, seven, fifty. Cheers very much. Four, fifty. Yeah, lovely. We should have a button on Omsi, like just down here, where you can complain at the passenger. I would enjoy that. I would enjoy that very much. Oh, 
we'll just go across to this lane while there's uh, while there's no traffic. Way up again. Now, unfortunately, if you do like your repaints uh, for the MMC, uh, this is going to break them all. That's why we're using plain white today. I should have mentioned that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, uh, that's why we're using a plain white livery. Is because the update, much like when the street light was updated a couple of months ago, uh, it will break all your repaints. Uh, unfortunately, they have completely redone the repaint templates. And, yep. It's going to break... Oh, that sounds better than it used to. It's a bit more echoey. I like that. They've probably not changed it at all. It's probably exactly the same. It's exactly like uh, when I was getting all excited about areas of Arcala and then fully messaged me saying, you do know that none of that has changed. There we go. don't know if we're meant to stop here. I feel like we are. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, yeah, it will break all your repaints, unfortunately, like the streetlight did. Um, that's just... Well, it's, yeah, unfortunately that's just how it is. I'm sure that much like the street, like any uh, chaps from the repainting society uh, will redo their repaints. But yeah, when it does first come out, uh, you will have to make do with uh, a severe lack of repaints. But like I say, it's, uh, it's certainly worth it for the improvements that you get with the bus. Oh, out of reach. Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Bar 50 change. Thank you, love. Smashing. Nine pound. I do find this ticket of machine very easy to use. I do think they've done this very well. I mean, the ticketer machine in general, I mean, it probably could be operated by a monkey. It's that simple. I mean, how much more simple do you need? Your fare's just on the main screen. Brilliant. Brilliant. Just heading through my, uh, my favourite part of the map now. It's no secret this is my favourite bit. I'm going to have to get a wriggle on. We're running a bit late here, aren't we? Oh, I'm sorry we've committed... There we go, get our foot down. Come on, Scania, show us what you can do. Very little uh, appears to be the answer to that question. Oh, Michigan Street Station. You do always get a bit of a lag spike here while the, uh, while the building's behind the station loading. I've not quite managed a smooth stop yet with this bus. Single, yeah, lovely. I'm expecting it to lag a lot less when we're out of town. Because obviously, don't forget, round here there is a hell of a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. Can you open the doors with the handbrake? Uh, off. No, you can't. Okay. Nice. I guess this version of the Scania is uh, is a Scania with uh, with all the set vars turned on. You know, it's got all the information, all the adverts, all the uh, the funky cameras. But you will be able to have mirrors if uh, mirrors are what you prefer. Nope, you don't need to do that. Well, you do still need to look right, I guess, because, uh, you know, AI cars. Yeah, your mirrors can't stop everything. Is there anybody there? Nope, doesn't appear so. Yeah, I know that they were walking down to the bus stop, but they should have been stood at the right shelter. Oh, it's this chap again in the heritage livery. I did say to Studio Polygon, come on guys, you made an absolutely cracking Enviro 400 MMC. 
you need to remake the Enviro 400. You know, we could do with the new version, the London City Bus. Oh, sorry, love. Way. It's not like Bus Sim 21. She doesn't run across for nobody. Yeah, I said to uh, Studio Polygon, come on, guys, it's about time that you made an Enviro 400 because you would absolutely smash it. From how good the MMC is, especially now with the updates, you'd absolutely smash it out of the park. Um, to which I got a mixed, uh, a mixed response. Uh, so I don't know if we should be getting our hopes up for that anytime soon, but I think they'd make an absolutely cracking job of it. The problem you've got is um, for things like the Enviro 400, there's just so many variants um, of the Enviro 400 that it's it's what do you do? Because you know, if you met them all. I mean, that's a mammoth task to make every single variant, you know, every single set var that's possibly available to you. Um, you know, you've got long versions, short versions, full height, low height, Scania, uh, B90L, of course, because they've got B90L versions, Dennis Trident, A3, uh, A4, can't even say it, E40D, you've got those versions as well. There are so many versions of the Enviro 400. Um, that if you just make a select few, you'll always end up upsetting someone, there'll always be someone moaning, and, and it's just a case of, is it worth it, you know, I mean, I personally said that they should make the big three, you know, an, e th an E40D with first, a Scania with Stagecoach, and a Dennis Trident 2 with uh, a Reaver. and then obviously repaints are allowed to happen and things like that, and then they can just slowly add more variants over time. I think that'd be absolutely fantastic, person. Why is my bus bouncing up and down? Can you stop jumping on the ramp, please? That's how we break things. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, thank you. Why are we... Why are we th What's happening? Is it because is it I'm in a scan? It didn't do this at every other stop. Christ, to feel like I've got Parkinson's checking about all over the place. Right, off we go. See, I hate this corner. I absolutely hate this corner. There we go. Luckily, there's no cars coming the other way, but every time we go around that corner, I shall complain. We're still late. I've told Fully I don't like the corner, and I shall keep telling him I don't like the corner, because I don't like the corner. There we go. Although, weirdly enough, this time the bus isn't shaking. So, uh, I'm not too sure what happened there, in all honesty. Maybe I was just parked a bit dodgy up the curb. There we go. Frame rate's getting a lot better now. We're out of time. So, we're going to put that down to a temporary blip. Uh, where we were. Just because we were in the centre of our car. There we go. There we go, right, foot down. Oh, class 700. Arguably a lot better and a lot more detailed than the Dovetail Games version. Uh, if you're not sure what I mean by that, look at yesterday's video. Forgot to mention as well, this version of the, uh, of the Scania has a ZF gearbox. I think most Scania versions do come with the ZF, to be honest. I don't think Scania uh, engines... I, I can't think of a version where Scania has VoIP, can you? They almost always have ZF. Um, if you can, then of course let me know in the comments. Scania with VoIP? No, I, I don't think it's a thing. There's a lot of indicating here, because Fully doesn't like straight maps. Oh, the irony. Um, but yeah, Fully doesn't like straight maps. Uh, he likes things that go around corners. Hence why there are so many flipping corners in this map. Oh, we've gone a bit past the bus stop. And uh, can I order a taxi to the curb, please? Flipping it, we're miles off. Uh, yeah. Two fifty. Yeah, lovely. Thank you, love. Let's get that naughty little two pound coin that I just missed there. Well, we'll gloss over the uh, the absolute shoddy parking there. 
So if this was Bus Simulator 21, I would get uh, brilliant parking. Some old woman going, that's a nice spot. But luckily we're not playing that today. I think next instalment of Bus... Way! Next instalment of Bus Simulator 21 will probably be Tuesday. It was meant to be tomorrow, but then I didn't realise I had new toys to play with, i.e. this Enviro 400. Oh, clock tower's just spawned in. There we go. Way. Straight back out there, no messing. It's weird not having to turn your head to look in your mirrors. I should have picked the low height version really for all these flipping trees, shouldn't I? Heck, it's 20 up here. I'm not doing 20, I can tell you that for a fact. Way straight round. Come on, stop. Nope. Right, £4.50, thank you very much. Five fifty change. Uh, I mean, Folly did admit to me, because uh, I, I did say this to him, I was like, oh, whoever's done the uh, done the routes clearly hasn't done uh, driven it with ticket selling turned on. And uh, he did say, yeah, that's very much a case. Uh, when the timetable was done, ticket selling was not uh, taken into account. <laughs> Flipping heck, nearly blew me eardrums out there. And obviously I've got my headset on, but Christ alive, that was loud. Oh, my head's ringing. I think I've got tinnitus now. Flipping heck. I mean, don't get me wrong, we like a good air horn. Oh, my God. Oh, you need some warning for that. If you're going to blast the horn, make sure you don't have your, uh, your headset on. Oh, dear me. Can't see colours anymore. Flipping heck. I mean, yeah, we're going to smash the upper deck on that tree, aren't we? Oh, air comes come on upstairs. Can you hear it? Don't know who asked it to. That's the problem with the MMC. The aircon just kind of does what it wants. Right, nobody ever goes up there. Everyone always turns down there. I don't know if that's a feature of the map. Well, it is a feature of the map. I don't know if it's an intentional feature of the map that nobody goes up there, but... There we go, right, foot down. Oh, Queen Mary Hospital loading in. Uh, but yes, apparently with this version there'll be uh, there'll be a lot more smart cards, so there'll be a lot less people that actually purchase tickets. A lot more will get on and just scan the smart card. Uh, there'll be a smart ticketing system, uh, which is fair dues. That will explain why the timetables are quite tight if you're playing with ticket selling turned on. And again, the uh, the map is a beta, so obviously things are set to change still. Oh, 63 going the other way. Hello, colleague of mine. I should really have driven the uh, the route with Oracle, the uh, the little competitive bus company. Because they're probably more likely to have an Enviro 400 in plain white, aren't they, than uh, the green line. I can't imagine green line would be seen dead with the bus in white. There we go, Oracle's just coming the other way now. On their, uh, their B8 hourly. Are you coming out, sir? Because uh, if you are... There we go. Are we, are we going left? What are we doing? I'm, I'm going to give you some space. Flash him out. Oh, is he... What's he doing? Yeah, he's going to Pendle. Come on, get a move on. I have a feeling that he's going to wait until I'm really close up. And then he's going to drive into me. What are you doing? What's going on there? 
Oh, I don't know what the uh, what the noise is. I mean, I quite like that livery. Don't get me wrong. I, I do like that. I don't know what he did there and why he had to do that. That's annoying because he's right in front of us then. Uh, he's taking all our passengers. No wonder we've not got many on. Away from our Carla. There we go. Way. Those doors absolutely fly up, and I love it. You wouldn't mess, would you? If the driver shuts the door in your face, you won't. Uh, you won't. Uh, you won't stick your arm in. Hell, he's motoring, isn't he? Right. So for the sixty-four, we go right, don't we? To get to go past uh, the hematology department. I could have probably indicated there, but never mind. Nobody else seems to bother, do they? Nobody coming right straight out. We're chasing that Oracle bus now, aren't we? go get our foot down we're two minutes late for goodness sake oh flipping heck what do you think this is public transport shouldn't really be putting the handbrake on before we stopped everybody we're getting catapulted through the windscreen yeah two pound fifty thank you love Hell, a lot of buses there, aren't they? All in a line. Well, don't stop. Flipping heck. I'll go in front then, shall I? This is an area of map that uh, seems to have been a little bit neglected, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's, it's very true. It's, uh, it's a fact that the map is still in development. So uh, there are going to be things here for us to see. So uh, don't worry too much about the fact we've got blank areas. Oh, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Bet that BMW would. Uh, absolutely. Shaking like a, uh, like a dog performing a certain task. Right, there we go, nine pound. Thank you. Yep, four pound fifty return. Lovely, thank you very much. And again. This is a nice section of the map round by the university. I particularly like the trees, the pond, the you know, all around here. I thought this was new, but apparently this hasn't been touched since the last version. I don't seem to remember this bit. Been as you know, been as nice as it is, but yeah, it's a it's a nice area of map to drive around. You can actually get up to some speed and all. Oh, there's the 22 coming the other way. I love that livery. Uh, unfortunately, the 22 is not going to be a drivable route uh, on this game or on this map, which is a real shame. I absolutely love that livery. Out of all of them, it is my favourite. 
Ah, we can't get away with going under here. We'll have to go over the top today. Nope. Steady on. Bloody hell. <laughs> there we go. Hell, you'd have your false teeth rattled out, wouldn't you, if you were sat upstairs? Oh, hang on. We've oh dear, we've, we've sliced a woman in half. There we go. Sorry, love. Ah, she'll get compensation, I imagine. Green lines strike me as that sort of company that hand out compensation left, right and centre. No questions asked. There we go. Right, come on, because we've got him. We're on a mission. We're on a mission because we want to be back on time. I mean, worst case scenario, I know kind of around Centigo Road we should be back on time. Um, if not, uh, when you get to Chester Stanmore, there's, uh, he's, he's cocked up the, uh, the timetable in a little bit there and you end up with seven minutes early. Or you end up travelling seven minutes early. Uh, so hopefully we should definitely be back on time then because I'm not intending on being seven minutes late, let's put it that way. Off we go. Way full steam ahead, and there's absolutely no point because we need to stop again. Flipping egg. Come on, get yourselves off. Thank you. Well, don't get yourselves off. That's another thing altogether. We'll have less of that. Get off of my bus. Thank you. Right, we'll uh, if we time it right, we'll uh, we'll be able to pull in here just before this chap. Oh come on, then I can't give you much more space, and we'll get out in front of that MMC if we're uh, if we're a little bit tactical. There we go, straight round. Wouldn't it be great if Bus Simulator 21 had uh, had these, the Enviro 200 MMC and the 400 MMC? I think that'd be so much better than uh, than what we've currently got. I don't like the Enviro 500. Uh, I know why they've done it, because it's a bit more European than the 400. Surprise passengers on OMSI never pay with a 20. They never seem to, do they? Oh, they don't on our car, anyway. I had a horrible feeling that uh, that Passat taxi was about to pull across in front of me. Hello. Oh, you don't want a ticket now. There's a surprise. Right, foot down. We should really uh, wait for him to sit down. Any good driver probably would, but I don't aspire to be a good driver. I aspire to get there on time. Oh, no, hang on. I tell a lie. A good driver probably would get there on time. Passenger comfort. Nah, that, that don't come into it. Don't know what that Mini was doing there on the right. Very peculiar way to behave. Hello. Yes. Thank you. £5.50 change, sir. Cheers. Right, off we go again. Whoa, hey. 
foot down. Everyone's going to be catapulted back in the seat. I'm not enjoying the fact we're two minutes late. Well, don't break if you're going to overtake. Don't. Ooh. I think we got that way as well, don't we? £4.50, yep, thank you. Five fifty change. Cheers, love. Well, I'm sure you'll agree I am doing my absolute best here to get us back on time. Come on, give me a bit of room. Give me a bit of room here. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Passat. See, that's a much nicer corner, even though it's sharper. Uh, it's nicer because the cars seem to slow down and give you space. They don't just speed up to the junction. I don't know if that was because I was already on the wrong side of the road. Omzi is a, a mystical beast. I'm never too sure quite how the AI operates on this game. Ah, I tell you, the, the quality of this... Oh, hang on, mind the Passat. Oh, and that's a bit of curb. Never mind. You're indicating left, sir, but you don't appear to be going left. The, uh, yeah, what was I going to say? I was going to come out with something frightfully intuitive. Uh, oh, yeah, that was what I was going to say. Uh, looking at the quality of this MMC and how much it's been improved, I can tell you now I am really, really excited uh, for the Gemini pack, which uh, Studio Polygon are currently producing, or they're currently in the process of making. I think from... Uh, in terms of news regarding the Gemini pack, I think the idea is that it'll finish this pack here and, uh, you know, kind of get this put to bed, as it were, because uh, there's a lot of updates that are needed, which, uh, which are needed to the old pack, sorry, which you do find have come in this pack. Uh, and I think he wants to kind of get this signed off, finished, maybe a few tweaks in the future. Um, you know, and then really hammer the Gemini pack, which is fair dues. I mean, that's what uh, Reverse Idol was doing with the uh, with the streetlight, because obviously we saw V1.2, and now he's cracking on with the Renown. And uh, hopefully, according to their website, we're going for a Q1 release. So uh, that is within the next few months. So do keep an eye on my channel, because uh, we'll be covering uh, a little bit of that. I've already spoken to them and said we can uh, we can have a cheeky early access look at that. Uh, so do uh, do subscribe if you haven't already. There we go. Getting that in nice and early. Subscribe. <laughs> it's brilliant. You'll love it. Uh, so yeah, we'll be having a look at that. And hopefully uh, I'll be able to talk my way into a little bit of early access with the Gemini. I mean, so far I seem to be in Studio Polygon's good books. I'm still to crack uh, Master Switch. As you'll see, there's the early access version of the failing out. I didn't make the cut. Oh, sad face. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm sure that it will be worth waiting for. They do say the best things uh, in life are free. And that expression is completely not what I was hoping for there. I wasn't looking for that. What was it? What was it? Something like the best things are worth waiting for? I don't know. I don't know. It will be worth it, whatever, regardless. Yeah, the best things in life are free. That wasn't the expression. I mean, it's true, uh, but it didn't help us at all in the situation we found ourselves in. Right, where are we going? So we're going left, way, and we're going left again. And we're going right. We really are in a housing estate now, aren't we? So obviously at this point we are running alongside the 63 again. Until, uh, until a little bit later in the map. Uh, we join back up just at Centigo Road there. I don't dislike this area of the map as much as I used to because he has actually sorted out the uh, 
I mean, I pointed it out in one of the last videos. I'll probably point it out again to you. Uh, but we used to turn right here and go around this kind of little country lane. And then we popped out in another housing estate. And uh, I never really liked that. It kind of felt a bit like he had two areas of map. I was like, oh, I've got no idea how to link these up. Uh, so we'll just put a, uh, a little country road in. And for me, it didn't work. Um, you know, I, I get what he tried to do, but it just didn't work. Whereas instead, now, we turn left and go past school and there's a bit more housing estate. And it, it links up a lot better. See, I don't like this, because this is meant to be a bus gate, yet it's just let him through. That'll need looking at. Oh, hang on. That corner was taken very wide there, Joe. Although I like the narrow lanes. I do like the narrow lanes. You know, narrow roads met for a bit of a challenge. And you're not just flying round. You've really got to kind of look, use your mirrors, concentrate on your driving. Go, go. That house is floating. Is it floating? I don't know. Possibly it's. It looks like it's floating. Oh, I love these kind of mock Tudor style housing here. Very nice, very nice. Oh, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that was the curb. Yeah, we don't need a taxi to the curb this time because we're very much implanted in the curb. Right, there we go. 450. Thank you. Cheers, love. There we go, 250, thank you. Oh, look at this. I'm an absolute whiz when it comes to this ticket machine now. The fares, uh, I've done that much driving on our car recently. The fares, absolutely straight, memorised the whole lot of them. 250 single, 450 return, and £9 day rider. I'm just brilliant at it. Uh, we don't appear to have any children on this map. I pointed this out last time. I don't know why there are absolutely no children in our car. Uh, there is the option of a child fair. Um, well, there you go, child return, child single. But for some reason, there are no children. I don't know why that is. Chill. Doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic around this area of town, does there? Seems uh, quite a nice, quiet little village. That's not right. <laughs> there's a there's a hole. <laughs> the the house is very flat. It must be drafty if you live there. Flip your neck. I hadn't noticed that before. Uh, mm. I'm sure that's actually quite a good idea, to be honest with you, because it means that the buildings are, are only are only textured on one side. That's probably how he's done so well, look. All these buildings, you can't actually see them from the other side. Uh, you know, there's no need for this here, because you won't see it. Oh, hang on, 450 return. That is probably Folly's very clever way of uh, meaning that the frame rates are a lot better. Because you do get very good frame rates in this map compared to some of the others. That's probably how he did it. Ooh, I'm onto your secret now. Uh, but yeah, just needs something on it because it's quite comical. The house has no wall. God, oh, don't moan at me. You were the one that gave me early access to the map, mate. If you didn't want me to pick holes in it, then you should have not. Oh, Oracle buses are here going the other way. That's not the same one, is it? It better bloody not be. Oh, hang on, we've caught him up. We've caught him up. Look, there he is. Way hey. Uh, right, okay. Uh, nobody's getting on, nobody's getting off. Right. 
So now we're going to end up with seven minutes at the next stop. That's why he's waiting there. Because I think he's done the Oracle uh, line correctly. There we go, 8.2 minutes. Bloody hell. Sounded like my wheels were coming through. So obviously when the timetable is done correctly, you will, uh, when, when there's a few more tweaks made, you will, uh, you will actually have the eight minutes at the last stop where the Oracle bus was waiting. Instead of like on this country lane out in the middle of nowhere, blocking all the traffic. I don't know if it's correct coming the other way, I can't remember to be honest with you, he might have done it correctly coming the other way. Listen to that Scania engine, it's absolutely just coping with the hills, isn't it? The Enviro 400 on the ADL spec uh, doesn't like hills. The slightest sign of a gradient and it just gives up. Uh, but the Scania really, really does. Uh, really does power through. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. Oh, hang on, why does that Prius not pull over? There's an ambulance behind you. Yeah, it's because Omzi traffic can't pull over, and the ambulance is just another car as far as Omzi's concerned. Oh, come on, change down a gear, change down a gear. There we go. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to struggle with the hills, does it, compared to the ADL version? It's probably because, I mean, does it have a larger engine? Does that have an 8, a 9 litre engine? I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. It must be a more powerful engine, because it, it performs better. And it doesn't sound like it's absolutely revving the knackers off it to go anywhere. You know, it's, it's always got, oh, police are here and all. Probably going to arrest that Prius driver for not pulling over for the ambulance. That's your very definition, light travelling faster than sound, isn't it? Police car goes whizzing past and then the sound comes five minutes later. What we're going to do, we're going to just pop a bit of braking in and I'm going to advance the time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes. There we go. So if you look, the, uh, the time will have gone to 0.2 now. We'll do it on the move so we don't have to stop if there's nobody at the bus stop. Oh, wait. Yep. Yep. You should have started braking earlier. Luckily, there's uh, there's a taxi coming. Oh no, you you've just yeah that's uh, is that your way of telling me to back up? Just I'm gonna park here. Oh, nice solid reversing sound. It won't reverse, Joe, until you've got it in uh, until you've got the handbrake on. Well, that was a uh, that was a knobs thing to do, wasn't it? Right, handbrake on. Nope, try again, and brake on. Off we go again. Oh, there's a woman waiting. This must be the first time ever anyone's got on at this bus stop. Hello! Their ticket, there we go. See, this route is so long, I really don't understand the need for a day rider, because you may as well just buy a return. I mean, nobody's going to be travelling up and down and up and down on this route, surely. I mean, maybe a bus spotter would, but how many people have bought day riders? They can't all be bus spotters, can they? I guess it's useful if she needs to pop up the road for a bit of shopping and then pop back to collect a kid, but she wouldn't be, uh, she wouldn't be collecting her child, would she? Because there are no children in our Carla. Um, why else? She might need to go for some shopping, uh, she might need to go get her eyebrows done uh, back in Arcala city centre, uh, perhaps hit a movie with her husband. You just never know, do you? Yeah, okay, fair dues, maybe there is need for a day rider. This stop not in use confuses me. I don't get why it's not in use.
There we go, nobody coming. There we go, this is a rub for full power. Oh, the enemy's here. Give him a little wave anyway. Didn't notice I got a wave back off him. Straight through, no messing. I'm looking forward to uh, this bus having the full green line livery. I think it'll be really, really nice when it's uh, when it does have the green line livery. I don't know if the Scania will come with the green line. I don't know if uh, they'll do it. I don't even know if they will do the livery because the uh, the street light's been out ages and we've still not got a livery for that. Uh, in the you know there the used to be a green line street light livery because uh, I think I've driven one of the services with it. Um, but yeah, the the new 1.2 version we've not seen a green line livery for it since. So. I don't know whether it will, maybe it won't, I'm, I'm clueless to be perfectly honest with you. I'm assuming that he's going to keep the Geminis for like the AI bus. Um, from, I mean, the AI buses are Yorkshire Counties and uh, Gemini pack, aren't they? The, uh, what, what was it now, the, the Gen 3 pack. I don't know. There's that much that's changed on this map. Anything could change, really, couldn't it? Everything could be subject to change. I think we need some good, solid single-deckers for this map. Um, that's why I like driving the Valen 3 so much, purely because of how many low trees it's put over the, uh, over the route. There we go. Madeline Road. Beep if it's still here. Uh, it is still here. Flipping it, that scanner on's loud. Is there a ticket? Certainly, sir. Thank you. There we go. It's like the thing to do is beep at Madeline Road. I'm not really sure as to whether there's some sort of inside joke there that I don't really understand. I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of inside joke things on here that I don't really get. I guess uh, I'm not really in the inner crew, but I will have to get onto Fully and ask him to explain some of these jokes here. Would be nice to be on the inner circle, wouldn't it? And I feel like some sort of mafia boss being in the uh, in the inner circle. There we go. It is really weird with the Scania and the mirrors not having to turn your head. I'm, I'm still not used to this. It's a very weird kind of prospect. I mean, you do have to turn your head, obviously, at junctions like this. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Nobody coming. Yeah, lovely. We're going. We're going. I like this bit of the map. To be fair, I like most of the map. The only bit I'm not too stricken on is the is the real city centre bit around Stockton Row. Just because I'm I don't really drive city centre routes. I don't really like city centre routes. I prefer this kind of out of town countryside driving. I think we could get a set of traffic lights to go on that bridge, knowing what OMSI traffic is like and how it doesn't give way to you. Six bells end. Oh dear. Oh, how rude. The six bells end. Oh dear me. Oh, you're not getting on, love. Alright, oh, okay. She must have an Oracle Day ticket. Let's have a look. Can we? We'll pause it there. Can we get a nice screenshot of the uh, of the MMC just making its way uh, down the? Ooh, very nice. You know I love a screenshot, don't you? 
Good screenshot. There we go. Right, that'll do. We're in the in the nice uh, there. Lovely. Right, carry on. Normal service can resume now. Oh, another low tree. Crash as the uh, the front windscreen is just smashed in bits. Crest Hill Primary, the uh, the school built for no children. I'm sure children will be there in the full release. We must remind ourselves it's a beta. It's a beta. Beta, 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 beta. So this is Crest Hill Village, obviously. Uh, this gorgeous little tiny old-fashioned oldie-worldie village. And then all of a sudden there's a block of flats in front of us. I wonder how they got planning permission for that. Right, that bus is going, so we're pulling straight out. We're using our colleague as a shield. And then all of a sudden it's a lot less quiet. Oh, now that is the definition of a... It's loud, isn't it, that horn? Why have you paid in £9.10? That was silly. £4.50, yeah, thank you. 50p change, sir. Lovely. Cheers. Cheers. Day rider. On occasions they do actually speak to you, but for some reason today they don't seem to be speaking to me. It's a bit weird, isn't it? On well, some days they will, some days they won't. There we go. Right. What an awful place to park from that Audi. Terrible, terrible. Right, so the 64 goes straight on here, the 63 goes round to the right. I think we did the 63 last time, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we did actually, we did the 63, because we did the full run in the old version of the MMC, if you remember. If you've not watched that, go back and check it out, because that's the full length 63 run. But we are heading the opposite direction, we're heading from Pendle down to, uh, down to Arcala. I don't think we have done this run, have we? No, we haven't. I can never remember, to be honest with you. I think I have done the 64 run in full, but I think it was on the older beta. There's no way that van was letting out, but uh, or letting us out, sorry. But to be fair, we did indicate quite late, didn't we? Oh, hang on, we go right in here, not in the next one. That was nearly a faux pas on my part. Oh my god, we're going to be taken out by fire engine. Oh. What's happening? What's that noise for? It's made a noise and I'm not quite sure why. I thought we were going to get some sort of Yorkshire County style announcement going on there. Of course, another little feature I forgot to mention. I think you can move the dash. 
Uh, you can you can press a button on the floor somewhere. Oh, hang on. Yeah, look where you're going. Come on, focus on the important things. Yeah, I know you can on the ADL version because I did I did that last time. But there's a button on the floor. The Scania might be slightly different. Just poke my nose out a bit. Oh, listen to those revs. Nobody? Okay. I'd have thought there'd have been some people to get on there. Bizarre. Bizarre. Ah, so this is Crest Hill. Yeah, because there's a bus station, isn't there? And then we go back out to Pendle. I quite like this bit, you know. I really do. I, I quite like this bit a lot. Uh, I didn't when we first started uh, with the Arcala Beta map. But I really do like this little bit of the map. Now, it was a little bit congested with cars. Whereas they seem to have just tidied it up a bit and perfected the traffic flow a little bit more. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's so much improved. I like the I like the bus station bit that you pull into and then go back out again. Too many coins. I like how if you give them the slightest, you know, if you don't give them the exact change, as fewer coins as possible, they'll kick off. Oops, nope, having to think about it. A couple of white buildings there. Oh, well, it'd match the bus, wouldn't it? Plain white. Come on. Heck. Oh, the 82. Ah, so you go off to the left then. There's so many routes where I just don't know where they go. I wonder if that will one day become drivable. I know, is it the route 6 that will be drivable? The route 99 as well, maybe? I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. I can't remember. I think it was in the in the final version, the Route 6 and the Route 99 will also be a drivable route. The DPD van upside down. I previously mentioned that I wasn't sure why that was. Apparently, it's to do with a YouTuber uh, who I've been assured isn't me. I'd be very upset if it was me, to be honest with you. Uh, but apparently, they're not very good at driving on OMSI. I'm not sure who that might be, to be honest with you. I'm trying to run through the, uh, the OMSI YouTubers in my head. Are you not getting on? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not sat here waiting. Yeah, I'm not moving the bus into the... Oh, hang on. Fine. Yeah, I'm not moving the bus into the position you like it. We, we stop here or... Yeah, we stop here, we stop here. You either get on or you don't. Oh, there's a coach here this time. That's not always there. I like how sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. That's, uh, that's brilliant. I guess that could be the said for uh, for any vehicles on OMSI. Sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. But it just makes it a bit more of a challenge getting out of the bus station, doesn't it? When, there's, uh, when somebody's abandoned a coach in the way. Right, so we go left here, don't we? And I think this is more or less the same route as the 63. Back to uh, back to Pendle now, back to Pendle Village. There we go. Hello, love. Oh, she wants a ticket. Right, there we go. 
Of course she wants a ticket. Everyone wants a ticket on this uh, on this flipping map. More or less everybody. Yeah, for the amount of day riders we sell, they obviously don't get their use out of them. Because uh, there's very few people that get on and just go boop and scan the ticket, is there? I don't know if Omzi actually has the capability, but it would be nice if you, if it was programmed so you sell a lot more deer riders in the morning. And then in the evening time, a lot more people just get on and scan tickets, because they've all bought the deer riders in the morning. You know, as the day goes on, you sell less deer tickets. Because obviously, when you're on a late night run on Omzi, they'll still be banging out deer tickets left, right and centre, won't they? And, uh, you know, you're like, it's quarter to nine in the evening, you're not going to get your use out of a deer ticket, you may as well just have a single. Or a return, if you're absolutely sure you're coming back. But like I said, there's only so much that it's possible to code, isn't there? I like this bus stop. This kind of feels very, um, very Yorkshire. Um, oh, the irony. Uh, it feels very Yorkshire, kind of like you're out in the Yorkshire Dales, out in like uh, Grassington, Ripon, Skipton, kind of around there. This is where I kind of would expect to see this bus stop. You know, just, just chilling there on the corner. That is another great shot. I like that. Brilliant. Right, yeah, get it shut. There we go, going uh, into Pendle Village now, into the town centre. Cheerio, thank you. Yep, bye. The uh, the chap first Enviro uh, that actually made this bus, uh, he did drive the uh, he did used to drive the MMCs. I think he still does drive the MMCs every now and then. He uh, he works for First, um, and uh, so he's managed to since he originally made the bus, uh, he's been a bus driver at First and has driven these things. So uh, a lot more of it is a lot more accurate. Now I don't think I don't think I could be wrong. I don't think he's driven the Scania. Um, but yeah, the ADL version, he has driven that, so he knows his stuff now, you know, so hopefully when we come to drive that tomorrow, it should be absolutely perfect. There we go. 250, yeah, lovely, thank you. 250 change, thank you very much. Nobody coming. Hey, we'll just dart straight across. I really struggle to get a smooth stop in these. I don't know if you've noticed from like the last 40 or 50 bus stops that we've done. I do struggle to stop smoothly. I can, I can drive smoothly. Look, that was a nice uh, smooth departure from the bus stop, but yeah, any sort of stop, I would really do struggle. It's a bit jerky, isn't it? I don't know how jerky they are in real life. Oh, there we go. I mean, that was a bit jerky, a little tiny bit of lag there. Oh, 
Way straight up and over. I think the next stop's Pendle Station, so uh, any minute now there's going to be a bell ringing. There we go. Right on cue. And this bit, I think this bit's nearing completion, to be honest, around here. This was completely redone, um, particularly around the station area. Uh, I did highlight that in my last MMC video that I did check that out. Um, I'd talk in more depth about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this area is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I mean, I could end up saying it's one of my favourite areas of the map, but I mean, I have said that about more or less every other area of the map. Uh, I, I just love the map. It's my favourite map available for OMSI at the minute. And it's not even finished. So, you know, high praise indeed, sire. There we go. We are now approaching Pendle Station, where this bus service will terminate. Uh, before leaving the bus, please make sure that you have clicked the like button. And uh, do subscribe if you haven't already, uh, because like I say, there's lots of exciting uh, things currently in development for OMSI. And uh, here's where you want to be, uh, to make sure that you never miss out on any of that. Oh, hang on, cross the, uh, cross the route brief off. There we go. Yeah, here's where you want to be for, uh, for all new OMSI content. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, click that subscribe button. Click it, there you go. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, I shall see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.